Yo, what is up guys? Ultraball's back with another SPL game. We have a hype match today. Uh, Gen 7 OU game between Eternal Spirit and Flame Victini. Two of the best players around. Uh, so it should be a good one. We see Eternal Spirit brings rain. Uh, I kind of like Eternal Spirit's matchup. Uh, the Amoongus is like the one stop to like the water move spam. But that doesn't even really switch into Swampert because obviously it doesn't resist Earthquake. So yeah. Uh, this could be Scarf Lando on Flame Victini's side. So if this is Ashgren, uh, Eternal Spirit probably doesn't want to stay. Oh my god, game over. <laughs> do I even have to keep narrating? Like, do you, it, I'm pretty sure you guys could figure out where this is going now. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's game over. But like, like I don't know what he could even do. He lost like his only kind of like rain check. Which, like I said, isn't even the best rain check because Pert still shits on it, but... Yeah, um, this game's over. That was that was a nice play by Eternal Spirit. Even if like the Lando was Scarf on Effie's side and he did U-turn, I don't think that even mattered much because you live the U-turn anyway, and like you don't need the Gren. You only needed it to lure the Amoongus. So, yeah, I mean, great play by Eternal Spirit. Uh, Effie could. I don't even know what to what to go into. <laughs> Says, well, it's been fun. Yeah, I agree. This game's over as hell. If the Lando is Scarf, he could go back into that in U-turn, I guess, but that doesn't even kill. Um, he could also go into Latios. I'm assuming that this, this Gren would have Hydro Pump, just because it's on a rain team. It makes sense that the Protean Gren would have Hydro. Uh, so he doubles into Magnezone, trying to catch Pharaoh. It's Eternal Spirit just U-turns. Um, if the Latios is Scarf, it could have killed the Gren with Draco, but... Like, I don't think Eternal Spirit necessarily needs the the Gren anymore, like I said before. So I think U-Turn was, like, a fine play. He goes into Pelipper, get the rain up, but now he's going to have to double because uh, the Magnezone is most likely faster. Uh, it's probably Scarf to begin with, but even if it's just defensive uh, Pelipper, Magnezone would outspeed anyway. So he could just hard into, like, Pert. Yeah, hards into Pert. He should... Yeah, I guess Flame Victini... Like, he doesn't even have, like, a double to make. I guess he could have doubled to Lottie, but... Um, yeah, so now he goes Lottie now, and his Waterfall is going to do like 60, 55. Uh, so there's your one switch in for Latios for the game. Uh, but yeah, this could be Scarf Lottie, so Eternal Spirit doesn't want to stay and let this take a Draco, I'm assuming. Like, this thing's too important. Um, I think he could go Pharaoh for sure, because Pharaoh, uh, yeah, Pharaoh, because with Rain up, it uh, doesn't even get trapped that reliably by the Magnezone. He could at least get his spikes up, um, get some hazards. And now playing Victini, if I was him, I'd just go zone here. Like, I, like I'm like i sure Eternal Spirit's just going to stay, yeah. He's just stay, oh, got rocks up. That's why I think Flame Victini could have gone into Magnezone there. Uh, but if this is SD Scizor, which it probably is, it's probably Defog on the Scarf Lottie. Um, then I would SD here. Eternal Spirit should go into something that... Uh, it should not stay in here and let this get like two SDs. I think he should go either hard Pert or hard Kingdra. Uh, but Pert doesn't even Oko back with anything. Like it actually, Waterfall doesn't even do shit. So yeah, Kingdra makes the most sense as he SDs. Uh, now if I'm Eternal Spirit, I don't think I'd risk Hydro here. I think I'd just Surf. Uh, I think the safest way for you to win is just to Surf. And then even if he like knocks you off into Bullet Punch, if that even kills... Then you just go into, like, Lele after and Revenge. But I don't think that there's a point of, like, risking Hydro. I think that's, like, the one way you could lose the game. So I think you just stay in here. Or I think you just click Surf here. Uh, and then Pert will win the next time Rain goes up. Um, yeah, you just click Waterfall four times. He actually risks it. What a madman. I don't think that was necessary at all. But um, it works out. Yeah, Flame Victini says, yeah, my one hope. That's what I mean. That was, like, the only chance that he could lose, I feel like. I, I, like, I think if he just clicks Surf, maybe he doesn't have Surf. No, you have to have Surf. I don't... Because, like, Surf, even if he lives, like, let's say it does, like, 85-ish or something. 85 or 90 would be my guess. Then you just go into, like... Yeah, you could just go into Pert right after that and click Waterfall. And he can't do anything about it, so... Yeah. Um, but either way, like, in the scheme of things, I don't even know if... Even if he missed, I don't know if... I don't think Flame Victini would win. Uh, because the, I'm assuming the Lele has HP Fire. Obviously, it gets up to Psychic Terrain. So, I think he would win anyway. So, I, but yeah, I don't, I don't think he needed to click Pump. But yeah, all right. So now Flame Victini loses. He goes Lando, uh, hoping for dodges. 
Uh, I don't even think you need to risk the dodge. I think you could just go into like anything, like Sec, Gren, or go Pharaoh. Any of those plays work, and then you just get the rain back up and click Surf like four times, and that should be game over. Um, yeah. So he goes Gren. Earthquake does 85. And now we could see if the... Yeah, this is probably... I don't know what kind of lander this is. It's probably Z-Move. Does that make sense? Z-Move landers? No, if it was Z-Move, it would have killed the Gren, right? Like, if it was max attack. But is it, like, defensive? I don't I don't think he needs defensive on this team. Okay, either way, a uh, Hydro kills the Mamoswine. And now he goes into Latios. Um... And this is Scarf Lottie, so it'll be able to pick off the Gren. Uh, and then afterwards, he just goes, Pelipper gets the rain back up, then clicks Surf a bunch of times, and it should be game over. Or no, he doesn't even have to Draco here. He could just Psy Shock. I don't, did I say Draco? Yeah, Psy Shock makes more sense because it's obviously type changed. It's not dark anymore. So yeah, he Psy Shocks, goes Pelipper, and now Eternal Spirit just U-turns, and that'll be the end of the game. So yeah, that turn one play literally like was the entire game. Uh, but, I mean, you can't blame Flame Victini. That's just, like, good prep, good set. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going to look now. Like, I don't think Doc... T Doc told me he doesn't have the scores up for this game at the end of the video like normal. But, um, yeah, I'm looking. It was... Uh, so, Flame Victini's on the Scooters and Eternal Spirits on the Tigers. And this game made it 4-2 uh, for the Tigers. So, they were down 4-1 until this win by Eternal Spirit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's not much else to say about this. Uh, it was pretty much the game was decided turn one, which is never the most interesting thing to see. But Eternal Spirit stays fire. Uh, I guess that's the the lesson that we all learned. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, Ultra Pros out. Peace.